Do you know how to download SharePoint files using Power Apps? Hmm, maybe not. That is okay. Let me show you a quick look at how we just need to use a special URL and the Power Apps download function. Also, let's talk about the launch function while we're at it. No, not the launch function, the launch function. All right, so to start, I have just a gallery here that is using a SharePoint document library's items property. And you know, configured it right. This is the thumbnail. There's a file name. I have this little view icon. So if we click on the view icon, this is going to use the launch function and it's going to show us the image or document, right? Whatever content you gave it is going to open that up into a full separate browser. So if it was a Word document, we could start editing in Word. But in the case of our image here, the puppy sitting on the sidewalk, we just see it in its full size glory. Now, if we switch back over to Power Apps, we now also have this download function because sometimes instead of viewing the file, you want to download the file to your local device. Device. So if we grab this one of him eating food and making a big mess, which he still does to this day, if we click on this icon, you're gonna notice the downloads interface pops up over here. And then if we click on open file, it is now opening that file locally on my machine. So how do these work? Well, let's switch back to Power Apps again. And if we open up the app to edit, so the launch one is going to launch your site's URL and then you're gonna use this item.fullpath. Plain, simple, that has always worked. For downloads though, you're gonna need a special URL. This is kind of the magic that we teach. And so for this one, we're gonna use the download function. You need that same URL, but you need this extra layouts, 15 download, and then the document library, and then you use the file name with extension. Now, if you need a full explanation of how that works, then look down below, there is a link to the full length video that will walk you through creating all these different buttons, explaining what does and doesn't work. Um, also, speaking of things that don't work, this download only works in a desktop scenario. It does not work on mobile devices because of security issues. So just a heads up there.